All right, everybody. So today we are working on a Toyota and a pre-welded kit or DIY weld kit was goofed up a little and now we got to fix it. So we're going to remake these tubes. As you can see, they're two different heights and they just sit a little sad eyed. So we're going to redo these tubes and make sure they're put on right. So let's get to it. So you said we needed an iron between the front and the start of the bench, correct? Right? Correct. So did you do the tubes like yours? Yeah. Yep, I had them on the white one, and I took them off and went back to stock because I like the stock looks better. And I also discovered that the white one's four cylinder. I lose miles per hour on the highway with the so big open fender. Yeah, do the fix one in the room. Yeah. So yeah. I got tired of it only being able to do like 80. Right. Like that's it, done 80. At least I can do 85 now. <laughs> <laughs> so it ain't much, but you know what? It gets me where I gotta go when I need right. to go. And that's how that thing is. It's got the two seven, four seven to five speed on it. Yep. So you know how about it, but should we go through just about anything? Yeah, that's. I love being able to just grab the nuts off a little engine and just go wherever you want to go. Those things, man, you can't even find them in the jump field anymore. Oh, hell no, you'll never get around with that jump field. Yeah. Ever. No. Does not happen. Yeah. I find that guy that's holding them all. Pretty street. <laughs> once you get on the page, you'll know what it is. He's got a. Uh, He's got a mail truck rat rod and he sets on the ground. I mean, he's got a, yeah, it's just not good. Good bumping him, yeah, he's straight back. He's probably got 15 to 20 juice sitting at his house. Yeah, he's got a little gold mine. He's got right hand drives. Really? Yeah. And what I like. Is mail trucks or something? Uh, no, Wranglers. No, I know, but old mail trucks. Yeah. yeah. He's got a couple, I think he's got a Cherokee and. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just got... What's he do for He is a machinist for Cummins. Uh, yeah, he just started that. Oh, he just started me. Four or five years. Yeah, yeah, he, he knows his shit when it comes to hack jobs. And, no, his way around how to do something. Do it on the cheap, too. You need to try to have everything nice and pretty, man. You just gotta get it done. Exactly. So basically, what you gotta do is account for how far that's sitting back in there. used it in a couple of years and I literally just had to use it a week ago. I kind of had to relearn it then and just don't relearn it. So it's one of those things that's riding a bicycle but when you're shit right, yeah. <laughs> You can do it but right. you're not doing it very well. A little reminder. Yeah. All right, so we got this tube set up in the bender. We got three and a quarter inch sticking out. There's six and a, or five and three quarter in between the front of the die here and where the die starts. So that should give us our nine inch gap here that he uh, got from the manufacturer. So we're just gonna re-bend this real fast and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's, this thing is as simple as I think it was 
Yeah, I mean, it'll kick on here in a little bit. So, we need to bend it to 74 because we want it to be more open. He told you the radius as it sits like this. He told you the big radius. We bend it smaller. So, so you got another small radius. Yeah. And what do you do? Subtract the two? 180. <coughs> Circle, 360. Half okay. is 180. We're bending off half. So it's two okay. Okay. So it's literally just high school. That's good. Yeah. We all passed that one. Yeah. <laughs> Test fit, see how close we are. We're pretty damn close. I think that's, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not easily held with one hand. Ooh, yeah, just maybe a maybe a hair more. We're there. Yeah, if that. Yeah, let's go another couple degrees and I bet you we're spot on. As long as we have both sides the same, yep. it doesn't matter. Your eye won't notice the difference. This is why I love this bender. We gotta bend it just a couple more degrees and all we do is slide it back in and we're ready to go. It's literally that simple. Right now we're currently sitting in. Right at 70 degrees. So we need to go, eh, we'll go 75. Try that, try that. They are a single guy, just one guy doing it. Yep, that's how this goes. Northwest Trail Innovations, he does bumpers. I mean, they, he's got all kinds of stuff for Jeeps and Toyotas, but If not, we bend the other side to 80 and then some metrics will take over and you won't notice. Yeah, just gotta make sure. Yeah, that one was bent to 80 and it should be right about 74, 75 degrees of actual bend. Yeah, it all depends on how you want to do it. I mean, that's were these pre pre done or was that just it was straight just, just bend on it straight yeah. bend. So yeah. you get it to finesse it just a little bit. Yeah, no coping or I mean, angle on this at all. It's not even the same angle. No, because he had to redo one. That one's 
kind of out there. Now this one's more really, really close. Yeah, so this is a little tighter than that, and that's what I like to do. Like so. Take the net hood so we don't end up at the net anymore. <laughs> It, it, it happens. It happens all too often. Yeah, man. This looks perfect. Sweet. Do you approve? Is that good stuff, Jane? Oh, yeah. She got a wiggle butt. It's good stuff. <laughs> so you said you do welding at work. Yeah. Stick welding then? Uh, not welding. mostly stick because I do. I work at FedEx, so I do all the industrial shit that people run into with. Uh, four clips and everything like that. Yeah. They just set me an absolute tear I know a few people that work over there. Yeah, they don't have to come all the way off. I'm going to slide off the end of the Yeah, I get to play around and work the weekends too, Friday and Saturday, so it's not bad. So I put it in. He wanted it gone. It was sitting in the driveway for the better part of a couple couple months and close there. Let's go down a little bit. Does it go all the way in? Yeah. There she goes. So what'd you do about the block then? Um I didn't know it had a cracked block until I fixed the radiator and water pump and the hoses. Yeah, so it runs and drives. It's got 50 psi oil pressure. A 207,000 mile block. It leaks a little until it gets hot. And then once it's, once it's hot, 
Top one? Yeah, it might looks be. like it's out a little yeah. bit. It might just be the way it's sitting on the tube. Yeah, now I can see it. Yeah. If they're off, they're off so little you'll never notice. Never notice yeah. Alright, I think that's the one. Cool. Yep, got a little to cut off there. Just to flatten it out and then cope that side. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. oh crap car. Gotta love kids. That'll be the one. Cool. Perfect man, I appreciate you. Yeah, it looks man. good. Thank you so much. Anytime. If I got any other buddies need some help, I'll definitely throw a little business your way. I appreciate it. I got a Facebook page and okay. build pages for both Jeeps. The red one's not sticking around, so I don't care about that one. Jane, okay. get over here. Come on. Alright, that was pretty easy, so. I like this two bender. It's just too easy to work on. It just. Just rogue five, man. Just 
gets it done. If you guys haven't checked them out, go do so. We got good shit, good products. Anytime I've had to call him, he's right there. He's always got an answer. I think I need to find more excuses to use this thing. But hey, that's like a couple days in a row that I've had to use it. So I'm happy. I like seeing this thing get used. No, no, we're not playing those games today. We're not playing those games today. Hey, Jay. Hey. Easy. Easy. Good girl. Easy.